I'll be a bit confused where to go back this time around. Do you ever wonder where this place is? Return to the fork in the road. Try something different. If I know the fork. Oh, that's it. Okay. <laughs> I thought it's gonna be more deep. <laughs> what can be different from this point? It looks like I can't go back any further than yesterday. I can't go forwards either. Which I'm not sure, like, if Loki in Days actually kind of like changes the endings and then I would have to repeat the whole game to actually. I don't know. We'll see. I tend to overcomplicate stuff, that's for sure. We have memories and just, you know, the data, so it's not like we have to do things differently, it's just the dialects will be different automatically. Oh yeah. <laughs> My memory just got randomly updated again. Are we looping again, mister? <sighs> Maybe. What shall we do today, mister? You're not looking too good. Maybe you should get some more rest. Then I won't die, so you're right. <laughs> we don't have that kind of time to waste. Oh, well, meeting with Keith will bring nothing because we got the info. Does that actually impact him if we meet him? Or like Ash will... I don't know. I would go to the house first to save time. We need to head to the professor's secret lab and check the body and those research materials. And be like earlier than this crazy bee. <laughs> Pretty much. Like, it wasn't Ash who attacked you, right? But then he won't go to Keith. Like, it's just... Yeah. <laughs> but I thought that girl was the one we should have been keeping an eye on. She doesn't even have a bureau residence permit. She was hanging around the place you got shot yesterday, too. I think she's been out to get you all along. Yeah, you're right. She's definitely suspicious. She's probably some kind of trespasser, but has she really been following me around all this time, trying to kill me? I don't know, unless the doppelganger theory is correct. If that were true, something about it just doesn't add up. Now, what's up, mister? Nothing. I guess I should probably take someone along with me. Where does Ash usually hang out at this time of day? <laughs> Beats me. Shall we check out the hotel again? Got it! I'll keep you company wherever you go, mister! I will still go first to the professor's house, though I need to find Ash. Let's check out AD and see what people are talking about. No red silhouettes. Huh. I guess I'll just talk to random stuff. I talked with everyone. Nothing's going on still. It's kind of weird, but okay.
I'm just thinking we should bump into Ash before he would go to Keith. I don't know if we can actually go to the professor's house now. Ah. I guess we'll just camp for him. <laughs> Do you think he'll be in the lounge just like last time? I wonder if Keith will reveal more things that we know already. Everything. It's her. How should I play this? I really don't want to end up getting shot again. But if I just leave her alone, that leaves so many questions unanswered. Why would she want to kill me? I don't think she'll point that gun of hers at me with all these people around. I'm gonna try and find out what her deal is. Oh, okay. Yeah, that works. Concentration is at 2.99%. Only six days left until this all runs out of control. What should I do? How? <laughs> huh? Oh, it's you! That's actually a choice of talking with her now, okay. There's something I want to ask you. Oh yeah? What? They might know something about the incident. I really do think there are like two people going on because of the time distortion and stuff. Why did you visit Rumford on the day of the incident? What do you mean exactly? You're supposed to have visited the house, before the murder was all over the news. The prof invited me. He told me to come alone. Oh. I guess. I didn't make it in time. I didn't get the chance to speak to him. Where were you between midnight and ten on the day of the incident? That's kind of a tricky one to answer. I wasn't at the prof's house, if that's what you're asking. I was heading to his house in the morning, but I bumped into you-know-who at the entrance. You're not in the city's resident database. Are you a visitor? Yeah, I guess I am. Do you have a residence permit? Nah, but don't get it twisted. I'm not trespassing either. I'm not in the database, I don't have a permit, but I was still the prof's assistant. Assistant? It almost sounds like she's speaking in riddles. Anything else? To tell the truth, I've been wanting to talk to you too. About your mom, Sonia. Uh... What? <laughs> That's your mom's name, right? Sonia Sion. How did you know? Sorry, kid. I can't tell you here. Let's meet again at the prof's house and come alone. Got it? Sonia. She's right. That is my mom's name. I've only ever seen it on her ID card, though. I don't know anything about her. Because you lost your memories, okay? I wonder what she knows. So I guess that's just gonna be the thing. We're just gonna repeat the days. Automatically stuff will be happening. Like, I don't have much input on it. He's already sitting there. Okay. If I don't get to the professor's house, I won't get to hear what that girl has to say. But I'm running out of time. What should I do? Haha. -ha. Now we have a choice, but then we can go back, so it's fine. Stay quiet, mister. Let's see how things play out. 
Tell me, was it you who killed the prof? <laughs> That's direct. Hmm. What makes you think I did it? You came here because you believe the info I leaked, right? If that's the case, then it isn't hard to believe you'd kill Rumford to get rid of the danger. That's a load of bullshit. You think I'm a spy from one of the other cities, don't you? Well, you are, because you get info from me for the other city, so... <laughs> Am I wrong? From where I'm looking, you're all kinds of shady. Are Ash and that rude old mister arguing? I thought they knew each other, though. Shh. Oh, yeah? I'm not so sure you didn't do it, pal. Me. Why? The only people who knew that I was coming to visit the prof were you and the prof himself. The fact that he just so happened to be lying there dead when I dropped by seems malicious to me. Either that, or the whole thing was some elaborate plot. Don't be a goddamn fool! They both think the other is guilty. <sighs> I don't think we... Got much from it. Hey, aren't you going to go after Ash? He probably hasn't left the hotel yet. Ash. So, this is where you've been. Ah, where did you find what I dropped? <laughs> is this it? Perfect. Thanks, man. I owe you one. Hey. Sorry about yesterday. Making you search the crime scene by yourself. I guess we're in no hurry, though. Why don't we take a look over what we know so far first? Did you hear? Looks like Yusus has pretty much decided that Tazaki did it. Uh, Keith, okay. What do you think, man? I read his memories from when he visited the professor's lab. I don't think he's guilty, but I still don't have any concrete proof. We found a secret room in the professor's house. I think it's connected to the main lab in his bedroom. You mean there are secret passageways? So the main lab itself isn't sealed off? I figured I'd go back and take another look. I want you to come with me. The thing is that now that girl is there, so we will break her trust. Ah, it's complicated. <laughs> The thing is that I would go back in time now, find out what she knows, and then go back here. God damn it, like it's so. I just wonder if there's a branch now. See? It like splits again from the other branch, like. Oh my god, I think let's just continue this plot that we were doing because it's just gonna get confusing later on playthrough wise so it's just more clarity that's all. <laughs> but like I'm also thinking what's gonna be relations with people that we meet because we go back in time so technically we never met them even though we know stuff. <laughs> So, how do you get into the secret room? You have to assemble all the celestial globe parts lying around the place. We have to do it all over again. Let's give this a go. Ah, thanks game. Uh, Ash, you're way too haphazard! Look, you made a complete mess of the place! <laughs> what else was I supposed to do? It wasn't like there were any obvious hints or anything. I guess he's right. <laughs> that I was stupid enough to figure it out? I mean, I had to see the professor's memory to solve the puzzle. Without that, 
I'd have been stuck. Strange. It's almost like you wanted me specifically to find the secret lab. Um. Whatever. I'll tidy up later, okay? This should work, right? Whoa, you weren't kidding. 